Hey, I'm Gem and this is a manga reading vlog. So you may remember a video I posted a couple of weeks ago. Was it a couple of weeks ago? A little while ago, anyway. Where I went through all of the manga that I have volume ones of and I was saying I really need to make a start on some of these so I can figure out which ones I want to start collecting uh, first I don't know there might be some that I decide I'm not that interested I don't I don't know I literally don't know what's going to happen but I went through all of these volume ones and I asked you guys to pick so I posted on YouTube I posted on Instagram I asked a couple of friends who aren't either to like pick for me and I put it all into a spreadsheet and I have four that I'm going to start with so I'm going to tell you what they are and then I'm going to pick one I'm going to go read it I have about just under an hour before I have to go and pick my son up from school. So I might squeeze one in now and then I'm just going to read them over the next few days and then share my thoughts. Shoulders. The fourth most popular answer with five votes, I think it was, was Black Butler. This is something that's been on my radar for a really long time. I really want to watch the anime, but I'm struggling to find season one. We've spoken about this. This is about a 12 year old Earl and his maybe not so human butler. I have already bought volume two of this. I really think I'm gonna like it but also with the earlier volumes you are kind of just panic buying at this point and just buying them when you see them because things are going out of stock everywhere so that's the first one the next two both had six votes we've got the promised neverland this is about some kids in orphanage and not everything is as it seems I had already started watching the anime and really loved it and it had it was quite ominous and quite creepy and had some really cool vibes so I'm really looking forward to reading this. This is one of my friend Emma's, like one of her favorite manga series. So I'm really excited to start this. And I think that, well, this is now finished at 20 volumes. So it wouldn't be too hard for me to get them all maybe. I really think I'm gonna like this one because I was enjoying the anime so much. So I feel like this is one that I'm gonna to want to continue collecting quite quickly. And then also with six votes was Death Note. So this is the Black Edition volume one, which is one and two, I believe, of the normal volumes. I'm gonna read it all as one volume though. This, I have now collected the first four of this and I don't have many left to collect because I think there's only like seven or eight. It might be a lie. I expect to love this. This is about a guy who finds uh, a notebook that has been dropped by a death god and if you write someone's name in it that person dies. I've heard really really amazing things about this and it sounds like it's gonna be right up my alley so I am excited to start this. Hence why I've really started collecting it because I just assume I'm gonna love it. It just seems like it's my sort of thing. <laughs> and the most popular pick with eight votes I think it was is Full Metal Alchemist. This is the bind up, so this is again the first three volumes, but I'm gonna read it as one. This is about these two brothers and their parents have died, I think, and they have like alchemical powers. Is that a thing? Something to do with alchemy and I think it goes wrong and one of them loses a leg and one of them like is, loses their entire body and they're trying to find the Philosopher's Stone. Again, I've heard amazing things. Assume I'm gonna love it. I've already bought the second one. The second bind up of the three, the three and one things, so. I just, <laughs> I just think that this is something I'm gonna love and it was very popular and everyone was saying it is fantastic. My friend Emma, again, has recently started this and I know that she's really enjoying it, so. I'm excited. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with Black Butler because I now have less than an hour. I might be able to get through this all before I go. I don't know. I'm gonna start with Black Butler. So I'll check in with you guys in a bit. It is the next day and although I didn't finish uh, Black Butler Volume 1 before I went to pick Jensen up from school, I have now finished it. After I picked Jensen up we went to the park and I read a chapter there. I was gonna do some footage but there was loads of other kids there so we're not doing that. And then last night I was like, mm, I'm not really fit for camera anymore so 
pajamas and the hair was a mess I was like, mm. so I just didn't bother but let me tell you what I thought of this volume I am giving it four which is still really good but I'm slightly disappointed because I did think it was going to be a five I think the problem was is that for the first like maybe two thirds of this volume I was just a little confused I didn't realize that this was like an alternate Victorian London like a parallel Victorian London and because I didn't realize it was not set in our Victorian London the modern inclusions really threw me because we had things like guns and uh, mobile phones and video games and I was just a bit like thrown once I kind of settled into that and the last chapter I really really enjoyed the last chapter was brilliant and kind of gave me a bit more of what I was expecting but it was just maybe a bit of a slow start I don't know there's a lot more humor in it than I thought it was going to be as well there's like these three servants that give a lot of humor which is fine I love a bit of humor I just wasn't expecting it like the tone is a bit different to what I thought or at least at this stage so I think I'm glad that I have volume two I'm going to try and read that soonish and then I think I'll know whether it's something that I want to continue soon because I can't really tell based off the first volume. However, Sebastian, the butler, is brilliant. I absolutely love his character. I just think this is one that I need a second volume to make a decision. So it's a good job I have volume two. We'll do that at some point, but not today, because today I'm gonna to start the next one, which is The Promised Neverland. So this is my next option. I'm gonna go make a drink and some breakfast. I have taken Jensen to school and then I had to take my car in to be serviced. So I, they sent me home in a little white electric automatic Corsa and it's like the furthest thing away from my car which I call Hank the Tank it is a massive blue Mariva and it's huge so coming home in an electric which I've never driven an automatic which I've never driven and a tiny car I was like do I even know how to drive anymore <laughs> however once I got into like the swing of it I definitely want an automatic next it was so easy so little side note I'm gonna go make some breakfast because I'm hungry I'm gonna settle down and I'm gonna read this and this is not to do with the manga but I also started a Grady Hendrix last night I started Satan Loves You and I'm like 100 pages in and it's so good already <laughs> just loved it so I'm probably gonna read some of that I do have to do some chores today fun need to clean out the fish and you know adult stuff um, but I'm also waiting for some parcels to arrive because I missed them when they came uh, a couple of days uh, on my birthday <laughs> so um, they, they arrived on my birthday I think the birthday presents from a couple of my friends and um, very nicely sent me stuff and I was out and about so I missed them and I thought rather than going to get them I would have them re-delivered but it's taken like two days so they should come today and I'm really excited to see what my lovely friends have got me so that's my day I'll take you along for some of it it's I mean it's not exciting I'm on holiday but I'm literally doing as little as possible so but I'm excited for this so this is this is the second one we're starting so I will update you much later and I am about to go on The Sims and listen to a David Attenborough audiobook while I play so this is going to be a chill evening but I wanted to update you I finished The Promised Neverland volume one and I require volume two and three four five six seven all the way through to twenty as soon as possible <laughs> this was even better than the anime and I really was loving the anime but this first volume I don't know if I'm just like not remembering the details or whether they weren't included in the anime. All I know is that I am in love with these three kids, Emma, Norman and Ray. I am in love with the story and I've got to know what happens. So 
I'm super, super excited about this one. Emma said this was my sort of thing and she was 10,000% correct. 10,000% <laughs> is like extreme and yet true. So, so far, this is the one I'm most excited about. Obviously, as I said, I'm now going on to play The Sims and listen to David Attenborough, because why would you not? But I think tomorrow I'm going to be giving Death Note a read. And I am really excited about this one as well, because I really do think this is going to be right up my alley. Honestly, had nothing but good things about this and I'm really excited. So I'm going to go play The Sims. And then I will read this tomorrow and update you. <laughs> A bit like crap but we're just gonna go with it so I've just come back from town all I went to do was go to Waterstones and pick up now I know <laughs> I know I said I don't need any more volume ones um, but I kind of stumbled across this and I read like the sample of it and I think it looks really good so I just bought it so um, I've got volume one of Undead Unluck and this girl is like super unlucky and this guy can't die and he's hoping that <laughs> because he wants to die and he's hoping that some of her unluck will rub off on him and he can finally die I don't know uh but it was actually it doesn't sound like it would be humorous but it was really humorous the first bit that I read and uh yeah I'm excited so that was what I went into town for I just thought I'd have a quick look in TK Maxx at the Halloween stuff and to be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed in TK Maxx this year because it just seems to be all candles. Like, I know I got, obviously, this was TK Maxx and we love him and obviously this, but they're now gone. So I'm glad I bought them when I did. And everything else was just candles. Like, even these little pumpkins are candles. But I did see this candle, which is a pumpkin 96, pumpkin cinnamon and allspice. Smells like autumn. And to be honest, I just really loved the, like, glass, that kind of black into orange fade. And I just thought, even if you use up all the candle, that would still be really nice to have on your shelf. I think I'll probably put it without the, without this, so I'll have it like that way, or I'll just take the label off. And it's going to look really cute. It was seven ninety nine, and they had a vanilla one, or a pumpkin and vanilla one, which was black into white and they had an apple one which was black into red which I nearly bought as well but 7 dollars it's not too much but I didn't want to get like loads of them so I'm just taking my labels off while I speak to you 
So that was the only thing that I ended up buying in TK Maxx. I am really pleased with it because I think it looks really cool and it's like really nicely designed, but that was pretty much all that they had. There was like a little thing that I almost bought, like a candle holder, uh, like a thing. And I think when you put like a tea light in it, it would light up and it was black with cutouts for like trees and birds. So it probably would look quite cool. That was only like a fiver, but I knew that I was going to have a bag of stuff and I didn't want to carry it around. So I might get that another day. I don't know. But then I went to Poundland and she was literally putting the Halloween stuff out. Like, poor woman. I was just dismantling all her display. <laughs> just like following her around taking stuff. She <laughs> but it's fine. I spent six pounds. I got a mini glittery skull. That. I love it so much. So this is now my, I'm going to call this my demon skull. My demon skull. I got this super cute little pumpkin candle. I just thought it was like really nicely finished because it looks quite rustic and I love that. They had this colour and then like a beigey gold one, but I went for the orange one. Although I am tempted to go back and get a beigey gold one as well. I got another tea light holder. <laughs> I mean... I probably don't need another tea light holder, but look at him. How could you not buy him? He's super cute. Um, and again, I love the fact that it's all kind of like, I don't know if it's meant to be. It's probably not meant to be like scratched and rustic, but it is a little bit. And I love that. I love that kind of like tarnished look. And then, oh, it's another tea light holder. <laughs> but look, it's a lantern. <laughs> I was just showing this all to Danny and he was like, Where's all this going? In your study, I hope. And I was like, yes, it's going in my study. <laughs> it's so cute, look at it. And then, um, last but not least, I bought myself a new coffee mug that's shaped like a pumpkin. So I shall be using this for the foreseeable future. This will now be, I'm tempted to go back and get another one of these and like leave it at work to be like my work mug, but super cute. And then just now, there was a knock at the door. <laughs> And this was delivered. And it is huge! It's Empire the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. I think most people know what this is, but this is about vampires are kind of taking over and there's like one guy who is left from the order that used to fight them, but he's been captured, I think, and he's like telling his story. And I am absolutely in love with this cover. One of my favourite covers of the year. I just love the art style for this. I saw somebody asking uh, on Instagram, you had to vote whether you preferred the US cover or the UK cover, and it's like no competition as far as I'm concerned. The UK cover is gorgeous. This is so my vibe. I love like the shiny red accents to it. Like as I move it, you can see it. The art style, I'm so excited. Now, I probably shouldn't have pre-ordered this on the kind of fact that I've never read any of Jay Kristoff's solo work before. I have only read um, Illuminae and Aurora Rising, although I haven't finished that series. So only the stuff that he's done with Amy Kaufman. But even though I think Nevernight's gonna be good and I do have Nevernight, I've just not got around to starting it. This, this feels like my vibe. Although it is absolutely massive. <laughs> It came in such a huge box. I was like, what? But it was really well packaged. Thank you, Forbidden Planet, because it is very beautiful and I would have been really upset if it had arrived damaged. So. so that's my little mini haul during this vlog. I am now going to go and run a bath and I think I'm going to take Death Note in the bath with me. I'm going to read, I'm going to start Death Note. I was going to take Satan Loves You, which is really good so far but I'm very aware that I want to try and get the manga read before I go back to work so I really need to read Death Note today so that I can read uh, Full Metal Alchemist over the weekend and then I can share this with you next week although for some reason I scheduled it to go up today which is Friday which was never going to happen I don't know why I planned that that was stupid so I need to just sit down and have a look because I don't have anything to post over the weekend now I'll have a look, I'll have a look. I'll find something for you guys. <laughs> I've got no idea. I need to sit down and look at my calendar. I'm gonna go run a bath, light some candles, and have a chill with Death Note. I will update you. I've said that at the end of every clip, I think. This is a mess. Hey, 
it's Sunday. I didn't film anything yesterday because to be honest, it was a long day. We had a new bed delivered, so it was like dismantling the old bed. Danny was putting up the new bed, sorting all that out, stuff out. I was just generally quite tired yesterday and I lost five and a half hours of my day playing cyberpunk. I'm not sure what happened. <laughs> I went on for like a little while then before I knew it, it was like 10 o'clock and I was like, whoa, crap. But I did finish Death Note and oh my God. Favourite so far, obsessed. So glad that I already have the next three and there's only two more after that. Five has gone out of stock everywhere, but six is in Waterstone. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna buy it just in case. But I enjoyed this so much. The one thing I will say about it is I'm gonna, I would give this five stars. Like if, I was, if I'm rating it, I would definitely give it five stars because the storyline and the characters are amazing. They're not all likeable, but they're amazing. But what I will say is that it's very clearly written in the early 2000s because some of the misogyny is quite a lot. <laughs> But somebody, I can't remember who, I can't remember if it was Paz or Hannah on Instagram. I think it might have been Paz. I'm not sure. I'll link both just in case. But somebody did warn me that there was some misogyny in it. So I kind of was expecting it. But yeah, it is. There's, um, there's a few comments that you're just like, really? But aside from that, the storyline is amazing the art style is so good and who knew that i would fall in love with a death god because ryuk is amazing he is so funny i am absolutely loving him i love his uh little like quips and the little comments that he keeps making and the way that he's not really on either side but Anyway, let me tell you what this is about. So this is about Light, who finds Ryuk's death note that he has got... Ryuk kind of got bored and kind of threw his death note down onto Earth and Light picked it up and he figured out really quickly. He's really smart. He's like... He set some kind of exam and it put him as like the top in the entire country and he is about to go off to college. He's studying for college and wants to go there and all this. So he's, he's a real bright guy and he figures out pretty quickly what the Death Note is and what it can do and starts like testing it and figuring out all the rules and he's finding rules that Ryuk wasn't even aware of and like Ryuk is with him because he has the Death Note but he's not really on anyone's side. He's just kind of watching it all unfurl because he was bored. So he was just looking for some entertainment and Light has kind of decided that he's going to use this to start killing off criminals. Then there is this other person called L who is trying to stop him and figure out how he's doing it and and find out who he is and things like that so nobody really knows obviously who he is because he's doing it via this book because you just write the name in and they die and all this it's so good there has been so many moments where i've just been like <gasps> you know like ugly gasping so far out of the three that i've tried this is going to be the one that i want to continue next the most I'll rank them at the end of where things are going to go, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be number one. I still have Full Metal Alchemist, which I've left in the other room. So I'm just going to quickly film uh, a birthday haul to share with you guys. And then I am going to grab a coffee and maybe a bit of cake because I have a little bit of birthday cake left. And then <laughs> I'm going to sit down in my new bed and I'm going to read Full Metal Alchemist. And hopefully I can finish that today, update you, and give you a final ranking. If not, I will do it after work tomorrow because I have to go back to work tomorrow, which is very depressing. Thursday and I did actually finish Full Metal Alchemist a couple of days ago. I just haven't got around to jumping on. It's been kind of a crazy week. 
I started filming this vlog when I was on my week's holiday and I'm now like a week in back into work and it's just been crazy. Let me tell you about Full Alchemist and then I'm going to give you my final thoughts. So I finished Full Metal Alchemist. The, I've read all three volumes that are in this, which kind of got me thinking that this probably wasn't the fairest comparison because this was three volumes technically death note was two volumes and then these only got one volume to show me what they have but it's done now so full metal alchemist is about these two brothers edward and alphonse or ed and al and when they were younger their mother died and they tried to use alchemy to bring her back but alchemy doesn't really work that way so it didn't work and Ed lost a leg and Al lost his entire body. And then to kind of bring him back and like retrieve his soul, Edward gave up one of his arms to kind of bring his brother back and put him in this suit of armor. So that's why his brother is in a, is a suit of armor basically. And it's kind of them looking for the philosopher's stone so they can kind of get their bodies back. Um, but they're uncovering stuff on the way, some, some crazy stuff and can I just say I am in love with this series and I am starting to think that I may be Edward. <laughs> there was a lot of times where I was just like this guy is me. <laughs> he's very sarcastic, he's short and he hates people telling him that he's short or pointing out the fact that he's short. He wears big combat boots he like literally in one of the first pages he's like oh i'm an agnostic i'm an agnostic i never see anybody talking about being an agnostic in books or anything um but that is how i would identify like not really an atheist i'm an agnostic so it just was like the similarities are building i really really enjoyed this there was some real funny moments in the first volume and then it took some dark turns and luckily my friend Emma has recently read this so I could like react to her and now we're going to read like the next bind up together and I'm just so excited about this. I'm so excited. I really, really, really enjoyed it. Now my final thoughts, I'm struggling between these two as to which one is my favourite, is my top. I think Death Note just pips it. Just but then Edward, these might be tied. <laughs> so I now have ordered volume six of this. I just need to find volume five, it's out of stock everywhere. Random volumes are going out of stock. Can't get volume four of One Punch Man anywhere. Can't get volumes seven. Um, I think I might have found volume 10 of Blue Exorcist, but it's just like these random ones. It's not even like, one and two anymore it's just like random ones in the middle um but i can't find volume five but i'm hoping to find it soon because i really want to continue this maybe this just pips it i don't know i'm going to tie these as first i was so sure that this had won but the more i think about it i absolutely love this and i totally understand why it's like one of the most loved anime and loved mangas everybody seems to really love it and i now i'm now understanding why but this is also well loved and I understand why and it's kind of like they're different vibes I think because that's why I can't really pick because they're quite different vibes like this is obviously quite a lot darker but oh, I don't know I'm gonna tie these both in first I am going to be actively reading these pretty damn quick and I'm very excited about them which means that in second would be The Promised Neverland definitely want to continue this but not straight away so there's only 20 volumes of this um but everything's out of stock at the moment so it's one of the ones where I'm like I want to get it but I'm not going to be like searching high and low for it just yet whereas with these ones I am so I think the ones that I'm like really actively collecting at the moment is these two Blue Exorcist, One Punch Man. They're the ones that I'm kind of like, yes, I want to get hold of them and I want to read them back to back. This I will I will keep my eye out for volume two and when it come when it's available I will get it. But others are coming before it at the moment. Which means Black Butler is finishing third or last. I don't like that. But it's coming in at the bottom, which I'm quite surprised about, because I really thought this would be my fave. 
at the moment I'm kind of okay not actively collecting this. This is probably one of the longest as well because there's like, I know there's over 30 volumes of this. Um, whereas Death Note, it's six because it's a bind up. And I think Full Metal, because it's three and one, there's nine to collect. So it's a bit more feasible. Even the 20 of Promised Neverland doesn't feel like as daunting. The only thing is that they will out of stock. But I don't know. I'll see how I feel after volume two but it's slipped down the priority order, which is sad. But this was great. I had so much fun doing this. I think I'm gonna do it again. I think maybe next month I might do it again if you guys enjoy this, because I would like to read some more of my volume ones and I would like to know which ones I wanna prioritize. These two have been on my radar for a long time. This has sat on my shelf, this exact volume that I have in my hands has sat on my shelf for about three years. And then I read it and I'm like, why have I left it so long? It's amazing. This has been on my radar for wanting to read and watch the anime for probably longer than that. And now I'm reading it and I'm really enjoying it. I want to give these manga a chance and find which ones are for me. Okay, so I didn't like Black Butler as much. Now we know. Now we know, I put it on the back burner and I come back to it later if, and see how I feel then. That's fine. I just kind of want to know which ones I actively want to do. So that is it for this vlog. I'm really not looking forward to editing this because I did not edit as I went, which would have been so much better. <laughs> Note to self, next time do that. But as I say, I definitely want to do this and I think next time I'm going to pick them like out of a pot or something so we'll just run we'll just get totally random ones rather than making everyone vote if you have any thoughts about the four that i have started and you wish to let me know let me know in the comments do you agree with me on like the black butler thing does this get better as it goes because it wasn't like a bad volume because what i was saying earlier about like this being three and this being two like i was fully invested from midway through the first volume so it's not like oh yeah, well, I pushed through the first bit and then it got better. So even if I was just comparing the first bit of this and the first bit of this one, this still feels lackluster. So, you know, have you read it? Does it get better? Do you agree with me? Am I right in thinking that I should be prioritising these two? I'm guessing that you're going to say yes because these are very popular <laughs> but if you don't have anything to say but you want me to know you're here you know that purple heart is always appreciated um and let me know if you would like to see this again because i would love to go to do it again so hopefully you guys want to watch it because otherwise i might just do it and for myself i don't know thank you so so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye